big, I can't take the water. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Need to ring up no. rags. That's no, but it works. It's better than that. <laughs> Pretty excited. Get yourself turned around. Good job. Go around this log here on that side and come straight through there. Good job. Some driving. Yeah. <laughs> Backwards. Backwards. Stingy. Yeah, I was a bad prediction on my part. I apologize. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We're here for a spring paddle. We're going to be spending the night, and Sandra's going to be trying her new hammock for the first time ever. It's going to be a fun time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Close. <laughs> What do you think, Sandra? Looks like you need a big fat trout, though. <laughs> <laughs> my plan. That's my weekend plan. Sleeping my new hammock and eat a big fat trout. <laughs> oh, and not get eaten by a bear. No, it's always a good plan. This little cottage up there. Okay, so my first battery I had in the uh, camera died. I had the other batteries packed in the, one of the, ba the bags in the back, and uh, so couldn't get access to them. And of course, within 10 minutes, we saw a, uh, I think a fisher, uh, kind of a, a large weasel uh, with a fish in his mouth. And about two minutes later, a uh, big old deer jumping right next to us on shore. So, gonna keep the batteries nearby now. <laughs> 
We're having a beautiful trip so far. It's gorgeous. I love this river. Absolutely love this river. It's a bit more shallow than I expected, but having a great old time. Me too. Layer, I'm layering, layering. <laughs> I'm layering up though. <laughs> that, that's going in. No. <laughs> layer, la layer. Me too. <laughs> Somebody didn't finish your job. Been paddling for a while. It's, uh, it's a bit cool. Around six degrees Celsius, I think. Uh, so far, no bites at all, but uh, absolutely love it here. A few uh, camps here and there, but uh, once you get past if, uh, a bundle here and there, it just disappears and you're right back into the wilderness. It's really nice. The sun's supposed to peak out later on. Hopefully it does, because I'm starting to get a bit chilled. I'm pretty layered up and you can feel that cold, so... Hoping that sun comes out soon, and uh, eventually we're gonna stop a spot. Probably there's an island I stopped at last time where I had lunch, so I might be doing the same thing this time. Kind of hoping we'd catch some fish, but uh, no luck so far. We'll see how it goes. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's all nice and peaceful. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, you like it when the woodpecker is going up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our search for trout uh, so far hasn't done very well, <laughs> but uh, we're still having fun. It's uh, it hasn't warmed up. Uh, the sun was supposed to come out, and we had uh, glimpses for like maybe three, four minutes at a time. But for the most part, it stayed kind of chilly. So this almost feels like a winter camping trip uh, with kayak. So it's a, it's a fun experience. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. We got a lot more to come. Hopefully, there's trout. Oh. I hope. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll go explore. Uh, we're gonna have to go to the right. Yeah, and there's probably more water on the left, but there's too many trees. So make sure to go fast when you're going through here because it's shallow. Uh. 
Ja. Nice little spot. Oh, there's a tree all the way across. We might get stuck here. Yeah, this is where we're going to have lunch. We just had a nice little snack. Um, turkey sausages are okay, but they don't replace a good beef or pork sausage. Uh, Sandra had a couple of bites over there, which was nice, and the sun did come out, and that felt a lot nicer, so hopefully it can come out again. We got some uh, pools that uh, we're going to hit and see if we can catch any trout over there. We're still uh, a couple of hours away from our campsite, and we want to get there before it gets dark, so... Um, it's going to be uh, a bit of rush at camp, but uh, we're going to be setting up the hammocks. Uh, Sandra's first time ever. I'm taking out my old one. And uh, yeah, hey, we're kind of looking forward to it. And have a change into some dry socks. Well, that'll be nice too. What do you think? Uh, it's a little bit too small. Oh. Here we go. Finally got a brook trout. Yay! <laughs> it's too bit too small though. It's not worth keeping. So we're gonna let them grow. Got one. Not bad at all. Oh, nice. That's not a bad one at all. Not bad at all. Beauty. Gorgeous. But we've already had our supper, so. No. no. We can stop again. It doesn't <laughs> Maybe we'll catch them tomorrow. We can bring them with us. There he goes. Oops. Okay, Sandra's really mad at me for letting that trout go, so if we catch another one, we're definitely going to keep it. Oops.
a burrow. It's dead though. I mean, just mushrooms. From this tree yeah. to that one. Yeah, okay, yeah. But I'm not sure what else. Because we can use one tree twice. Oh. Go from there to there. So it turns out uh, where I caught that last trout was only around 15 minutes away from uh, the end of our trip uh, for day one. Um, we're near, we're on basically my father's property. We're near to it. Apologize, I can't really tell. It's been years since I've been here. So I think this is his property. Either way, we're going to be very respectful. So, not your usual campsite. We're definitely roughing it. Andrew managed to pull her kayak out over there. She had a better landing tonight that I had to walk knee deep in ice cold water to get up the bank. But uh, here we are. It's gonna be our fight. I don't think we'll be up too, too late. All right, it's time to get prepped up. We've got a lot of work to do. Are you still mad? <laughs> she really wanted that trout. Lesson learned, guys. Keep the trout. So we haven't recently got into the hammock craze. Uh, I got this ultralight uh, ASIM from Hennessy many, many years ago. And Sandra had decided to get into the hanging life. So she got herself the, uh, the deep jungle which has uh, got a lot of new features that I'm envious on when I compare it to mine. Mine packs a little bit smaller, uh, but not by much to be fair. Um, just seems that way. And uh, Kingfisher. <laughs> so yeah, uh, mine, uh, you go in from underneath. Hers is a zip out. It's got a double bottom and uh, a different type of material. Mine is lighter uh, and packs smaller, but those are the main differences. You'll see a little bit more once we have them set up. Here's one of the differences between my hammock and Sandra's. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm half terrified that when I sit in it, it's going to rip. <laughs> I'm going to fall through. Everybody's going to see you. What's that? Everybody's going to see you if you fall. Yeah, I know. Well, seems to be holding. Still works. Still works. This tiny, tiny little rope. So. Oh, this is awesome. I forgot how comfortable this is. And I'm not even in it. I'm just... I'm just yes. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Good. So one less thing to worry about. Now I'm going to have to re-tighten it. I shouldn't have tightened it. Lock it in so tight. The first time you go in, it will loosen. Then you just re-tighten it once, and that usually fixes it up pretty good. Okay, time for the big reveal. What's it gonna look like? Mike's is in the back here. You probably won't be able to see it after I open mine. Looks the same. <laughs> Branches. Six. Oh, look, a kayak I could tie to. Can I tie to your kayak? Sure. For now? <laughs> that worked great. Yeah. There That's different. Why is it different? Well, because I go in from the inside. Oh. Underneath. Am I going to fall? Ooh. It's normal for it to stretch the first time, so we're going to retighten it.
Yeah. Is it gonna work? I think so. Nice. Put a fly so, though, it's raining. Because we're getting rain, yeah, we gotta get the flies on quick, so <laughs> everything's abbreviated. Sorry, everyone. Perfect. I'm gonna zip it up first, though, so yeah. tighten it up. have to tell yourself you can trust it. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> cool. So uh, this is uh, this is not the fly that came with the uh, the uh, ASIM. Uh, this is the large fly uh, that came with the hammock. The, the original one is a lot smaller than this actually. And so this is my full setup. Uh, basically, it gives me full coverage and uh, everything I require for a good night's sleep. And uh, as I said, this is the large one. Apparently, changes have been made over the years. Uh, this came as a bit of a surprise and a shock, but uh, let's pan over to Sandra's uh, standard one. Is it? Yeah. So this is Mike's large fly. <laughs> which supposedly I was supposed to get the same one because it had more coverage than the one that came with it. And there's a tree in the way here, but it's so big, my fly, I can't even fit it in the camera shot. <laughs> it's like the family fly or something. I don't know. Um, a lot of size here. There's a hammock in there. <laughs> But I'm gonna back over by the river and get a further away shot. It's huge. It is. It, it is. There'll be no flies on me tonight. <laughs> or there'll be a lot of fly on me. Yeah. That is crazy. It totally dwarfs mine. You can't even see yours. I know. <laughs> Mike, where's your hammock? <laughs> Send everyone camping alone. <laughs> No problem changing behind that. So this being the first time we've set up Sanders hammock, and I'm used to using carabiners. Hopefully we got the setup right. Uh, there is a chance that we might have to do adjustments at some point, but uh, now we're just gonna pick that ginormous fly and see if we can get her uh, set up for the evening. If somebody steals your ki your kayak, we'll know. <laughs> well, you'll know. I'll know. If it starts to rain, I'm going underneath. <laughs> You're coming at my place? <laughs> You're coming over. I think it's nuts. I left that corner up a little bit so I can get in. I don't know. I'll yeah, yeah. probably bring it down later. You probably don't need to. Oh, you can have a family party in here. Family party? Family party. I was going to be amazed walking underneath here with all these ropes. So, if ever we go hammock camping again, we're going to need a bigger spot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are. I'm well, making it work so far. Okay, so it took a uh, bit longer to set up our, our hammock so we thought first time set up for Santa so it's totally understandable plus, and uh, plus we didn't expect that huge tarp yeah we didn't expect that and we're in pretty tight quarters so as you guys can see uh, we've taken all the room that we can here so since it is last minute we still got to put some stuff away uh, I'm sorry if some people are going to be disappointed but we're not going to be having a bonfire tonight we're still going to hang out to actually probably jump in our, our hammocks fairly uh, early uh, just to, to warm up, but we're not gonna be uh, going to sleep anytime soon. And uh, yeah, hope you guys don't mind, but uh, there's just no time to get everything prepped up. 
What do you think? <laughs> You're okay with it? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. We're used to uh, going to, uh, we used to go to national parks where even in the wilderness sites you weren't allowed to have a campfire. So camping out without a campfire is not the end of the world to us. It is nice to have a campfire. Don't get me wrong. But for this one, we'll just skip it, but uh, still gonna have a fun night. Well, you know, we could have kept that trout and then we could have had a fire and we could have ate the trout. <laughs> and, mm. and mm, sorry. Now, I'm craving like fish and chips. <laughs> like, I know I can't have it tonight, but on the way home tomorrow, fish and chips. Sorry. Fish and chips so, for Sandra. Fish and chips. It's on me, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you're paying. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're having a really fun night here. We have the tunes playing on the iPhone and we're just having a really fun evening. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night everyone. Good night. Sandra's first ever night in a hammock. What did you think, Sandra? Oh, it was great. Slept very well. It was very comfortable. Didn't he, he didn't even wake up once. Nice. Yep. Can't ask for better than that. Nope. Next to the river. Yeah. We got the coffee done. We're going to have to try to drink her up fast and pack her up quick because uh, we ha actually have a family get-together to go to, so this is going to be pretty much the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we really had a great time. Uh, there's still going to be a little bit of footage, but uh, we're going to be doing a lot of packing up and uh, rushing to uh, the vehicle. So, thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time. This fair down continues. Secret section. <laughs> We got ourselves a nice little spot here. Some crazy trees in the area. And uh, this is all beaver chews, where they can tell. Look how tall this beaver would have been to reach up to there. Start at the bottom and chew it again higher. And there's a lot of them. And these are big sized trees. There. Oh, this one, three layer two. Looks like a corkscrew. Isn't that crazy? These are big trees too that they're bringing down. I know I didn't bring it down with the old anti-gas.